In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of Jesus be with all of us. My brothers and sisters, we continue the reading of the Bible. We continue with chapter 30. This is the book of Genesis. Today, we are going to start by verse 25. Let us continue reading and meditating, my dear friends. I am Marie-Louise Umumalarungu. Jacob's beginning with Laban. After the birth of Joseph, Jacob said to Laban, Let me go so that I can return home. Give me my wives and children that I have earned by working for you, and I will live. You know how well I have served you. Laban said to him, let me say this i have learned by divination that the lord has blessed me because of you name your wigs and i will pay them jacob answered you know how i have worked for you and how you flock your flocks have prospered under my care the little you had before I came, uh, sorry, the little you had before I came has grown in numerous three, and the Lord has blessed you wherever I went. Now it is time for me to look out for my own interests. What shall I pay you? Laban asked. Jacob answered, I don't want any wages. I will continue to take care of your flocks if you agree to this suggestion. Let me go through all your flocks today and take every black lamb and every spotted or speckled young god that is all the words i want in the future you can easily find out if i have been honest when you you come to check up on my words if i have any god that is that isn't spe speckled or spotted spotted or any sh sheep that isn't black you will know that it has been stolen laban answered agreed we will do as you suggest but that day laban limo, uh, removed the, the male goats that has uh, strips or sports and all the female 
that were speckled and spotted or which had white on them, he also removed the black sheep. He put his sons in charge of them and then went away from Jacob with this frog as far as he could travel in three days. Jacob took care of the rest of Laban's frogs. Jacob get green branches of poplar almond, almond and plant trees and strips of some of the bark so that the branches had white strips on them. He placed these branches in front of the frogs at their drinks, drinking truth. He put them there because the animals they made, made it when they came to drink. So when the goats breed in front of the branches, they produced young that way strict, spurred, and spotted. Jacob keeps the sheep separate, separate from the goats and made them face in the di directions of the tricked and black animals of Laban's frog. In this way, he built up his own flock and kept it apart from Laban's. When the healthy animals, animals were mating, Jacob put the branches in front of them at the drink, drink throat so that they would breed among the branches but he did not put the branches in front of the weak animals. Soon, Laban had all the weak animals and Jacob all the healthy ones. In this way, Jacob became very wealthy. He had many frogs, slaves, camels, and donkeys. Brothers and sisters, this is the end of this chapter 30. It's about Laban and Jacob. Let us continue reading with this chapter 31st. This is a Jacob phrase from Laban. Jacob frees from Laban. Jacob had the that Laban's son was saying, Jacob has taken everything that belonged to our father. All his wealth has come from what our father owned. He also saw that Laban was no longer as friendly as he had been earlier. Then the Lord said to him, Go back to the land of your fathers and to your relatives. I will be with you. So Jacob sent word, word to Rachel and Leah to meet him in the field where his frogs were. He said to them, I have noticed that your father is not friendly towards me as he used to be, but my father's God has been with me. You both know that I have worked for you, for your father with all my strength. Yet he has cheated me 
and changed my ways ten times. But God did not let him harm me. Whenever Laban said, Respect God shall be your wages. All the frogs produced sparkle young. Sparkled young. When he said the stripped gods shall be your wages, all the frogs produced strips young. God has taken frogs away from your father and given them to me. During the breeding season, I had a, I had a dream and I saw that the male gods that were mating were stri stripped, sp spot and sp specked. The angel of God spoke to me in the dreams and said, and said, Jacob, yes, I answered. Look, he continued, all the male gods that are meet are melting stripped, spotted and specked speckled I'm making this happen because they have seen all that Laban is doing to you I am the God who appeared to you at Bethel where you decided you did you dedicated a stone as a memorial by pouring olive oil on it and the way you made a vow to me now get ready to go back to the land where you were born. Rachel and Leah answered Jacob, There is nothing left for us to inherit from our father. He treats us like foreigners. He sold us and now he has spent all the money he was paid for us. All this wealth with which God has taken from our father belongs to us and to our children. Do whatever God has told you. So Jacob got ready to go back to his father in the land of Canaan. He put his children and his wives on the, on the camels. Sorry. And, draw, and drove all his flocks ahead of him with everything that he had acquired in Mesopotamia. Laban had gone to share his sheep, and during his absence, Russia stole the household gods that belonged to her father. Jacob deceived Laban by not letting him know that he was leaving. He took everything he owned and left in a hurry. He, clo he crossed the river Ephrath and started for the hill country of Gilead. Let us stop by here today, my dear friends because we will continue by knowing how Laban has pursued, pursued Jacob. Means Laban was not happy for Jacob to leave him. He tried to get him back, even though it was not easy. Next time we see if he has he did or he didn't if he has success or not we will know and i invite you all my dear friends to continue the reading to continue the meditating also to follow the reading because we know much about what happened that time and we will continue to thank the Lord because of how he intervenes, hallelujah, in our lives, in our everyday 
in our daily life, in our every everyday sufferings, Jesus and our Lord is there. Hallelujah. Jesus is our Lord, yes. But when I say Jesus and our Lord, it means Jesus and his Father. Hallelujah. They are there. And the Holy Spirit, but we know even though there are three, but it is only one God in the three persons. Hallelujah. That is the Holy Trinity. Brothers and sisters, may God bless you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen.